adjusting. Hold on. It is adjusting. Oh, I like this new <coughs> setup. It's much you like this? So fancy. And we have a fancy background. Except so it's fancy. All it's a step and repeat. It's all the wrong way around. Hey, hi. We're, We're live, live at five. five. The .com is... It'll be fine in the end. It's backwards for us. Okay, but it's all right for them, is it? We're live at five. Hello. How you doing, everyone? Uh, thank you for joining us. Wow, we just got big, big news, right? Just, big just news. Very, like well, a few minutes ago. Big news. I sort of knew it was happening, which is my job. We knew this was happening. We knew it was happening. The story might have been prepped. Let's put <laughs> it that way. Imogen loves to prep news. I love to prep news. She's always prepared. Um, I happen to be British. I don't know if you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> there's been a very successful musical for some time in, in London called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. By the way, I love that everyone's calling this a set. But yeah. thank you. They but say thanks. they love the set. Well, it's it actually a set. just a poster but on the wall. But thank you. Stop ruining the, the whole... Thing. Sorry. Sorry, the effect. Effect. So yeah, speaking so, of big sets, big sets. Sorry, Charlie, this show actually does have big sets. It does. Charlie and the, Bot Char Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now it's play been playing in London for a few years um, at the Drury Lane Theatre, which is 2,100 seats. That's bigger than anything on Broadway. That is a great, big, huge theatre. Yeah. And it's been doing very well. So the big surprise is why on earth hasn't it come here yet? Right. So anyway, it is now coming in the 2016-17 season, which we sort of knew. Now this we didn't know. Sam Mendes, who directed it right. in London, he's and you not. may know him for doing James Bond movies, he's he's not going to be directing it on Broadway. Nope. Uh, so of course, speculation is, is that Jack O'Brien, who worked with Shaman and Whitman, who wrote the music and lyrics for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, he worked with them on Hairspray. Right. So speculation he's is super talented. that it might be Jack O'Brien doing it. Um, but it's very exciting news. It's a properly big family show. Mm -hmm. I finally so, saw it my last trip to London. I finally saw it because I hadn't seen it, mm. you know, until very recently. So I saw like the ninth cast they were great and well, the show is a lot of fun but it's in it's enormous it's enormous so it's going to need an enormous theatre there are different rumors going around about, about, about what's going to happen yeah. it might um, not be the exact same show i think it'll be retooled yeah. from London. um the other thing is is that um obviously tony and olivia and douglas hodge was the original willy wonka right. in london will he come to broadway i also don't know that bit sorry everyone but i did know it was coming why are people saying the camera's wrong Flip the camera, please, because that's that the means. background. That means they're seeing what we're seeing, which is that's the wrong way around. That's true. We're gonna have to look later. It's very it's high a concept. New set. It's very high concept. I don't understand why they can't <laughs> film us the right way around. Is anyway. that what they meant? Anyway, yeah, we don't know what you're talking what about. Mean. But um, yeah, so that was big news. That's, that's coming next season. Next season. So in the 2016 to 2017 so, season. It's not one of the shows Hamilton will be for the Tony. Yeah. It's next season. Yeah, that's right. next season, everyone. Uh, what else happened today? Um, Jesse Tata Ferguson yeah. put that photo on Instagram, right? Where um, he kind of revealed he it, had skin well, cancer. It looked I like guess. he had skin cancer. He didn't specify which skin cancer, but he then did put SPF 75 after it. Um, then he made a joke about Phantom because he had a great big bandage over yeah, his Phantom face. Mask, but we yeah. hope he gets better soon. Um, Shuffle Along uh, moved its dates, not hugely significantly, right, um, just a little bit. But the reason why there's a second show to do it already, we may get another one or two. It's because the Tony Awards have moved um, back a week, yeah. which means the eligibility deadline has mm. moved back, mm -hmm. which means mm -hmm. that um, we're seeing some slight opening night right. bits, which is going on. And obviously, everyone, uh, there's that um, Out of Oz video, right? That Wicked video. People love yeah. that Wicked video. And who's in this one? It's Rachel Tucker and Carol Lindsay yeah, well, singing I'm Not That Girl. People are loving these videos. I love Rachel Tucker. Uh, well, so what's nice. not to love? And then the SAG nominations came out. They did loads of Broadway people, Love as ever. People. A lot of Broadway people. Um, right. So we'll see what happens at the awards. Let's bring Ryan in. Ryan, why don't you come Ryan stand? McPhee. Ryan McPhee got to talk to one of the SAG. He did. Shall I leave? No, no, no. Let him, he, why can't all I three of us fit? So, uh, yes, so you talked to one of the hot, hot, hot nominees uh, yes. today. Whose name I can't really pronounce. Sir Sean Ronan. Yeah, I can't do that. Great. No, wow. <laughs> um, you look at the spelling of her name and you probably want to get that immediately. But yeah. Sir Sean Ronan. I remember when she was a little girl, she was in an aton atonement. Yeah, Oscar nominated. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, right. Um, so she's in Brooklyn right now. And she's already picked up a not lot the, of... Not the borough, the movie. Okay, when you said the girl from Brooklyn, I was like, Eden Espinosa? <laughs> no, she's in the movie Brooklyn right now. Um, and she's already picked up a lot of buzz for this. She uh, got a New York Critics Circle Award, right. a uh, British Independent Film Award, mm -hmm. and this morning nominated for a SAG Award. Mm -hmm. um, and she's remarkably cool about all of this. I asked her, like, you know, how are you celebrating? What are you doing? And she's like, oh, well, I found out a couple hours ago, and we're putting up our Christmas tree right now, and... Maybe we'll add an extra sparkle for it. Like wow. she's like so well, super blonde. Yeah. But you talked to her because she's coming to Broadway. Yes. Um, so she will be in the Crucible this spring, mm -hmm. and this Great is fun. really her first 
sage experience ever really she hasn't had any sage training um so she said she's terrified like half jokingly uh but she's very excited and, and she's, she's working with an she's incredible director great, well it's incredible director Eva yeah. Van Hove, mm -hmm. but also uh an amazing cast so tony winner sophia canedo obviously and then ben wishell who i saw on stage years ago as hamlet he was like the youngest ever hamlet in london wow. for hundreds of years and he was like early 20s early early 20s right, right, right. and Trevor Nunn put him on the stage at the old Vic right. and you'll now know him as Q in James Bond um, right. but he's very so he she'll have great support uh, let's put it that way um, and I was surprised she said she hasn't met her director yet yeah she yeah. hasn't met him yet she's been you know she's known about it for about a year now mm -hmm. so she said like every night it's all she can think about as she goes to bed she's um, thinking about witches and and witch trials and mm -hmm. don't you think about her dreams <laughs> right <laughs> And not I did have to ask her, uh, because we're Broadway.com and I'm me, um, uh, about her co-star. So you Brooklyn. asked her about Bernadette Pierce? <laughs> yeah. no. uh, I asked her about Smash. 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 Um, Smash. So her co-star in Brooklyn, Emery Cohen, a lot of people might know him as Leo on Smash, Deborah Messing's son. Mm. So naturally I asked her if she has seen Smash, if she was familiar with his work. Mm -hmm. She has not seen Smash. And if you're watching this, Sersha, Brian Darcy James says that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Yeah, unacceptable. Just not on. Very upset about he was. That. I know she is watching this, actually. You know what? I bet because Brian Darcy James is up for a SAG Award that he ends up talking to her about exactly that at the SAG Awards. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's his end. That's his end. That's his end to talk to her. <laughs> um, now the other thing He's is, nominated for Spotlight for Ensemble, is, right? Yeah. Yes. Now this is fun scoop that actually I haven't told anyone in the office yet. So last night I went and hung out with Christian Ball in his dressing room. Why not? For, as you, you know, do. As you do for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Now, Christian Ball's dressing room is covered, and I mean covered, is littered with Star Wars plastic figures everywhere. <laughs> so I then go, well, you may have competition for the biggest Star Wars fan on Broadway because Leslie Margarita. Right. So Christian and Leslie, like, we're going to have to put them together for Star Wars trivia. Oh, oh. Like that. yeah. That's a fun idea. You just no, hand it to the world. I know I did, didn't I? <laughs> Let's get that going. Oh, I, I, like that. I like that idea. Oh, I know. Um, I think we're going to. And this broadcast has come right back. Okay. Because there's people complaining about the connection. So I'm gonna, right. we're going to be right back. Bye. With a special guest, an awesome guest. What, what was that, everybody? That was a little a technical. Thank you, thank you for coming back. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to come back because there were some Wi-Fi issues and, and fan issues, complaining about Wi-Fi. So um, I didn't want to have bad Wi-Fi for our special guest, who I'm now going to... Welcome into the shot. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ryan Redmond. Oh Big studio audience. Big oh studio gosh. audience. Hi, Ryan. Slide on over. Oh my gosh, Slide in. Cozy. I love that we're both wearing white. <gasps> we planned it. It's a good look. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to be here. How's, how's life? You're in, a, you're in a fun new show, aren't you? I'm in a fun new gigantic show. <laughs> Literally, that's the title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does the title oh, mean? Oh my gosh, you see people's comments. Yeah, there's hearts coming and oh yays my gosh, and people are saying crazy. hi. Um, so, yeah, gigantic means what? Gigantic. Well, it means a lot of things, but it is our new musical, Off Broadway, right. is a extremely heartwarming and hilarious, fun show written by very funny guys, Randy Blair, Tim Drucker, Matt Berger, mm -hmm. and it is the sort of coming of age story at a weight loss camp which we refer to as the number three weight loss camp in southern Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's sort of, it's about falling in love and getting hearts broken and awesome. hilarity ensues. Have you been involved with it for a while? Or? No, this is actually my first okay. incarnation. The show's been around for a while, but yeah. um, but now they got Ryan Redman in there. Yeah. And, and what's your character's name? Taylor. Taylor. Which what? is really confusing with Taylor Louderman in the show, the rehearsal process. Which yeah. Was really funny. I'm sure. Our director, Scott Schwartz, was always like, Taylor, actress, Taylor, character, ta Taylor, actress. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you've already said it in the comments, but you probably know Ryan from um, Bring It On. And maybe even the Broadway.com blog, Cheer Factor. <gasps> oh, I loved Cheer Factor. That was so fun. I'm so glad you did that. Me too. And just, I just want everyone to know, like a lot of times people ask us, how do you choose... Who gets a vlog? And I remember being like, I saw Bring It On, and I was like, that girl's awesome. So that's how you got a vlog. That's how I it. <laughs> a lot of times people want to know, and a lot of times it's just we want like someone really awesome. Yeah. So uh, and yeah, you did a great job with that. And then yes, there's that little uh, fangirling B way. Just reminded everyone, there's that little show called If Then. Never heard of it. Yeah, that show. How was that? Was you so now, actually you played Paulette. 
Correct? I did. Paulette. Isn't that a good memory? That was a good memory. And Paulette had that sassy little scene. Yeah, with Anthony Rapp. Yeah, on the on the bench. Calling him old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I like to do. I like to call Anthony Rapp old. Was that a fun show to do? It was. It was such a good group, and I was so happy to be a part of that, you know, sort of Adina's return. And yeah, yeah. We became such a family. And yeah. I miss them all very dearly. I yeah. Really People, um... More than awesome, she makes you piss your pants. <laughs> I, you, you, you're a, pant, a pants pisser. No, that would, mean, that, would mean, that would mean you're doing it. No. Um, and the scene before you live to, oh, you want to live oh, out, yeah. of course, naturally. The intern I'm sorry. with the, the girl the who's like, well, come on, come on, get, it was all about like getting, starting the program, right? Or yeah, but yeah. She, she spoke with a weird inflection. She was like, Dr. Was, Vaughn? Oh, right, 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 right. Just <laughs> only in questions. And you made people piss their pants when you did that. Apparently. And you're beautiful, Jonathan <gasps> says. You. I love your eye makeup. You're like kind of a master of makeup. I. Who taught you that? I don't know. Well, I, my mom is really good at makeup. Yeah. And shout out to Mama Red. Mom watching? She's whoa, she's totally watching. Hi, Mom. Mama Red loves Live at Five. Um, but <laughs> my, my stepbrother is a makeup artist, and I oh, sort okay. of just like learned in New York and amongst many things. Hey, you have little flecks of gold in there. It's good. And the hair color. The hair <laughs> the color. The hair. Um, okay. So what's the music like in Gigantic? Oh I'm going to go see it next week. It's only, it's only playing two more weeks, right? Yeah, December 20th. Yeah, that's close. why I wanted to have you in here because I've heard such Mama great things Reds. about it. Oh, there, there she, she is. is. <laughs> Mama Reds. Hi, Mama. That's so funny. Yes. Um, oh, the cheekbones. So um, what's the music like? Um, it's like very exciting pop rock. You singing like, your face off? Is yes. there face sing is there face off singing? These writers are making me sing my face off. <laughs> High belting ensues. Everyone, everyone is singing their face off. We often hear when people come see the show, they're like, the voice is in the show. We're like, thank you so much. Really? But like it's really it's like hard hitting rock and roll, but there's some like sweet ballads. It's got everything. Nice. Yeah. What what would be like your dream? Uh, what's your like dream scenario? What's your dream like three year plan? Oh my god, my dream, dream big. My dream. It's on video. <laughs> it's on video. I really <laughs> want to be on television. I shot an episode, my first episode of anything in September. Of what? Um, what was it? It was younger. Oh, oh! I heard about this. You did? Uh, yes, somebody in the office saw the first episode. They did. Of, of Am I in two. it? I didn't get You're cut out. You're in it. You're in it. Yes. No, Beth. Beth told me. We'll go talk to Beth after. Okay. You're in it. I heard you're in it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get to. Was oh, I can't. Fun? I don't know if I can like tell what it. It was so funny. And you were, you were, uh, yes. And what you did? You have a scene with Sutton, or would you? Yeah, who did you have a scene with? I had a scene with? with Sutton. Okay. She was so nice. Did you know her before? No, that? I I didn't know her before, and uh -huh. I was like. It's my first time doing Aww. this. And she was like, oh my gosh, ask me any questions you want. Like, I've been there before. And she was, like, literally so helpful. Oh, that's and, awesome. Yeah. She is super sweet, that Sutton Foster. She is. She's um, sweet. Someone says they bet you're going to end up on Madam Secretary or The Good Wife. I hope so. You can only choose one. No, I'm um, no I, you can do both. I love The Good Wife. I just, <laughs> I just started watching it. Are you binging it? Yeah. Yeah. I just finished season one, and I'm obsessed. Speaking of uh, weight camp, binging TV, binging. Binging has become such a word binging, now, right? We all, everybody watching. binges. Yeah. Everyone binges. It's you like, it's, it's it. cool to binge. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want people to know about this show, Gigantic? And oh. it's on 42nd Street. What, it's at the Duke? No, it's at the Acorn. Oh, the Acorn Theater. theater sorry. In Theater, theater Row. Row. Yeah. It's in Theater Row. Theater Row. Between 8th and 9th. Mm, between 9th and Dyer. <laughs> Dyer? Dyer. Oh, that's that street. That street. Yeah, that's, that's that little street that off random, 42nd Street. Sorry. That random little street. <laughs> that street. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you want people to know about it? Um, I want people to know that there are a lot of actors on that stage who you don't normally see playing the roles that we're playing. Mm. Like, I'm giving you ingenue realness. Nice. Like, very grounded. Yeah. Like, not being funny at all. Although, I like to think I'm funny sometimes. But <laughs> everybody else is being funny around me, and I uh -huh. get to sort of be like the... Yeah, yeah you get to the, be that girl. Yeah, I get to be that girl, and I'm, I'm never that girl. Which yeah. is so fun. And I get to fall in love in the show, and it's not like the butt of a joke. Somebody wrote a really wonderful um, review to one of our writers last yeah. night and we've all been like resharing it today. They were like, for the first time I saw somebody like myself mm. on stage, someone who's not a skinny little girl. Yeah. And they were like, for two and a half hours I felt normal for the first time seeing mm. theater. And we were like, oh, that is why we're doing this show. Well, That's shout wonderful. Out to, I think her name was Rachel. That should make everybody want to see it. Make yeah. me want to go see it right now. I know. You have the show tonight? Yeah, we have a show tonight. You're literally Eight leaving, you're leaving here and going to the theater. I am leaving here and so, going to the theater. So, and so should you guys. Yeah, if anyone's if you're in, in New York. Yeah, if you're in New York, you should go head over there yeah. and see Gigantic. If not, it's running through, what, a week from Sunday? December 20th. Okay, December 20th. And what do you do for Christmas? You going to see Mama Reds? I'm going to see Mama Reds. ATL. Going to the ATL. 
Right, nice. That's where you're from. Yeah. Sorry, Shelby. Yeah, Shelby, you still have a week and a half, though. You can. Yeah. You, it's not like New York's crowded this time of year. <laughs> not at all. It's so crowded. <laughs> so, it's crowded. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Especially it right where we are. It's so good. It, it, it is yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. So, everyone, uh, check out Gigantic at the Acorn Theater. Yes. I love that name. Yeah. At Theater Row, which is between 9th and Dyer. Yep. I don't even know if I ever really even called it Dyer. I feel like I've just always thought like it was that, Dyer, even though it avenue. actually is obviously Dyer. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And uh, thank you for doing the vlog again all those years ago. It's all on YouTube if you guys want to like yeah. check it out. Watch Cheer Factor. Uh, thank you so much for watching Live at Five. We'll see you tomorrow with another awesome guest. <laughs>